Drew Brees joins us from the Superdome, and uh, Drew, a crazy week here. I mean, uh, you thought you might have Michael Thomas. You thought Emmanuel Sanders may play in this game. Neither one of them play, and a lot of young guys stepped up, especially uh, Marquez Callaway. Uh, what does it say about this football team that you can have all these guys step up and get a victory like this? It's big. It's big. And, and let it, listen, a ton of credit to those guys. Um, you know, Marquez Callaway at the start of this season probably had no idea that right. – <laughs> By week six or seven, you know, he'd be catching uh, eight balls or ten balls, getting 12 targets in a game. I mean, just pretty crazy that, um, you know, the injuries have put us here. And yet, um, man, credit to those guys for, for, for staying ready, continuing to develop and, um, you know, take the coaching the way that they have and also just put forth the effort and the work and um, you know, the attention to detail. Um, and we, we had a bunch of guys step up and, and really fill a role today. And um, uh, listen, you know, O-line, we've had some guys go down here and there throughout the course of the first part of the season here, too. And, and, and young guys have stepped up. And listen, it's it's I, I love I love the way that, you know, we, our approach of, hey, next man up. And, um, you know, whatever we have to do to win games, you know, we, we're finding different ways to win games. And, and I think that that says a lot about our preparation and, and also just the mindset going in. Um, we want to play a complimentary brand of football with our defense. We want to be balanced. Um and felt like we did all that today. You guys are comfortable from the opening drive, though. I mean, you're six for six on an opening drive. You find five different targets. That opening drive, I mean, you really didn't miss a beat from the beginning in this game. Yeah, listen, it was um, it was it was good tempo, good rhythm. You know, um, we were running the ball well. Um, we were taking taking the completions. Um, you know, maybe getting a chunk or two here and there. Um, you know, getting ourselves into third manageable situations. I think on that third drive, we had maybe three third downs and all of them were yeah. maybe third and one, you know, so short yard situations are good, you know, where you can just continue to keep drives alive. Was it 14 plays? I think we ate up about eight or 10 minutes off the clock and got seven points. You know, that's, that's, that's championship football there. I ask you about this all the time, but I'm trying to uh, look back in my memory bank. You know, you get the leap for the uh, 14 to three lead. And since you've been in new Orleans, has that play ever not worked for you? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, listen, you're, you're always aware, you know, on any quarterback sneak or just whatever, just, you know, just getting the job done. Right. So yeah. if it's, if it's just getting a first down, like at the, the last play of the game, right. Or if it's, uh, you're trying to go up and over and just get that ball across the white, you know, the white stripe, um, do what you got to do. I love asking you about new wrinkles in the playbook, uh, the play where you threw it to Camara, he throws it back, you get Trey Quan. You were waiting yeah. to use that one, weren't you? Sean said he was going to call it. It was just a matter of when. So he, he found the perfect moment. I know this offseason you were looking forward to having Emmanuel Sanders and Michael Thomas in there together. I mean, the way the offense played in this game, when you get those guys back, if you could get them back together, how good can this offense be? Well, listen, one step at a time. But obviously, um, it'll be great to get those guys back. You know, I, I know, you know, Mike is chomping at the bit, you know, obviously. And, uh, you know, Disappointing that, you know, he had the injury early on and, and, and it's just hampering him a little bit. But uh, I know when he comes back, man, he's going to have his mind right. He's going to be ready to roll. Um, obviously, kind of suddenly losing Emmanuel Sanders this week with COVID. Um, you know, that was tough, um, especially being so far into the week in regards to game planning, you know, um, and him being such a big, big part of the game plan. Um, but again, credit to the other guys who stepped up and filled that void. Um, but man, if, if we can, you know, get to full strength, and be hitting on all cylinders, um, man, that's, that's when we can start cooking. And uh, I think we come to each game with a ton of confidence and a ton of momentum. You, know, you speak of full, cil full cylinder, uh, you know, you're the ultimate perfectionist. You've had games where you started slow and then had strong finishes and then vice versa. Is the goal obviously to put it all together? And, and how hard is that to make that work and, and put it all together like that? Yeah, listen, um, you, you can't always look at the stat sheet and have that tell you how how you played, right? I think it's different in the quarterback position because, listen, at times, man, the best play you can make is taking a sack, or the best play you can make is throwing the ball away, right? right. And those things don't show up as positive things on the stat sheet, right? right. Um, you know, checking the ball down and not taking a, a, a sack that gets you to third and four versus third and eight or ten, man, that's a huge. That could be a huge play in a game. Um, so I think just an efficiency. Um, taking advantage of big play opportunities, um, playing great situation football, and then taking care of the football. You know, those are all things that the way I evaluate 
you know, myself and quarterbacks. Before I let you go, uh, a light moment in this game. You're facing the Carolina Panthers, but Teddy Bridgewater was the opposing quarterback. Goes out of bounds, kind of sits next to you and the other quarterbacks. Were you surprised by that? And what did he say to you? Well, it was funny because, you know, I was sitting there looking at the drive before, right? And uh, so I, I, I could kind of feel that, you know, a play was coming to the sideline. And, you know, I'm sitting down. I'm not worried. And here comes Teddy. And <laughs> it's funny because it just totally fits his personality. But if he sat down, he had probably had to run about 40 yards to get there, right? So he was a little tired. So he, he kind of took a deep breath, you know, like, man, I had to just run a long way there. Um, but, man, just, you know, it's funny because that was us for two years, right? Him sitting right next to me, right in that exact same spot. So there really wasn't anything out of the ordinary about it other than the fact that he had, you know, a different uniform on. Um, but, now that was good, good to bring some levity to a, to a tense moment in the fourth quarter, you know? Last question. Uh, you know, you talk to the opposing quarterbacks after every game, but when you talk to a guy that you've spent time with, the former backup, I mean, what was it like talking to him after this one? Well, listen, I, I couldn't be happier for him, you know, in the opportunity that he has uh, there in Carolina and the job that he's done. He's done a great job, and they got a lot of good pieces around him, you know, so I think that they're, they're building something there. You know, great coach. Obviously, a very similar system, right? Mm -hmm. um, so just all those things. Um, I'm... I'm it's close to Miami, which is hometown, you know, yeah. so um, just great opportunity for him. And, and certainly he deserves it. You know, the, the journey that he's traveled uh, to get to where he is, um, it's impressive. All right, Drew, uh, great victory. Enjoy this one. And uh, we'll talk to you next week in Chicago. Sounds good. Thanks.